Today we will review how to customize heading on collection pages. First, make sure that you edit the product description in your Shopify admin, products, collections, select the need collection. We already added the description, and here it is. Now let's go to the theme editor, collections, default collection and add collection page heading section. Once it is added, we can apply settings in this section. Here one can decide if to show heading on desktop and mobile view. In the drop-down list, select to show only title, title with description, only description or disable the option. We'll select to display only description both on desktop and mobile mode. The placement of the heading can be customized here as well. You can show it in the product grid section, at the top in a container, or in a full width. Also, you can place it at the bottom of the product grid in a container, or in a full width. Let it be at the bottom and in full width for our demonstration. And this is a mobile view. We'll add another collection page heading section in order to customize additional content blocks at the top of a product grid section. We'll disable showing a title on collection pages and leave the enable product grid width for position. If you need to show a title on each separate collection page, you can add a block title. Then press on select collection to assign it to the needed one. It will be sale in our case. We'll also choose to show a title for desktop and mobile. You see, here it is. Now let's add a few Prama box banner blocks to display them as a sub collections. We'll select the collection and add a URL for it. Then add an image. It will be the same for mobile and desktop. The layout type will be clean image without text. We also want to change the size of the column settings to display banners in half of a line. And here is our first banner. We'll add another promo box banner block in the same way. Select a collection and a URL. Then add an image. The size of the column will be two items in a row too. The third promo box will be assigned to the same collection. but we'll select to show it only on a desktop, it will be hidden on mobile. For the last content block we want to use a slider. In the slick slider block you can select the collection and apply the general settings for all slides for slick blocks. We'll select the auto adaptation to the image for the height and change the size of the column. The speed of slide duration will be 3 seconds. Now we can add the first slide for slick. Add a URL and an image. We won't change any other settings here. So let's add the second slide in the same way. You see, we don't have any space between the blocks. This can be fixed by going to the heading section and changing the margins of the column settings from none to preset hashtag 3 for example. After all changes done, we can check them on a full screen. Here are all our blocks and the heading at the bottom. If to review the another collection, we can see that it doesn't include the sub-collections and has only the collection description at the bottom. And here how it looks like on mobile view. That's it. Thank you for being with the Shella Shopify team.